Alright, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. okay. Hello everyone, welcome to another little interview here at the Watch Me at DLD. And with me I have Tim Pritlove from the Chaos Computer Club. Now, tell me Tim, very quickly for the people who don't know, what is the Chaos Computer Club? Chaos Computer Club is the hacker organization that was founded 25 years ago in Germany and still exists and is still thriving. We're doing annual conferences and other funny th things and we try to bring the community together and to communicate our, our vision of how the world should be to the public. Okay, what, what, give us a little glimpse into that vision of the world then. Well, it's basically all about freedom. So we try to push freedom of information, free flow of information into the minds of the people. And especially today, while now that surveillance is sort of taking over, we're strongly opposing this as well. But we've also been very busy acting against voting computers, for instance, just recently. A variety of fields we are trying to get influence on. But it's always combined with a very lively scene of people who is both interested in technology, interested in, in passing borders, finding out new things, and but also have a sort of conscious mind for the development of society and the impact of technology on society. Let's let's take uh, you know George Bush and you know the whole tapping of uh, the telephones and stuff that you guys you know find out about that you 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 battle against that in a way you know with whether that's through forums or discussions to technology or whatever well you, we don't really have to cross the Atlantic <laughs> Sur surveillance is going to come big time in, in Europe there are already uh, many plans in place and if we don't stop them we're going to have a data retention law active in all over Europe which basically means logging and storing all the traffic not the content but who talks to who about what for six months, so it's sort of <clears throat> imprison it's like minority report. you know they're trying to look into our minds and make us criminals before we are one, and that's a bad thing and if you look at the surveillance situation in great britain it's it's already beyond nineteen eighty four in 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 every way, and well, we just try to prevent this coming to the continent and uh, I hope we'll succeed. Could you tell me what that is you're wearing actually on your 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 chest there, the, the Sputnik? Yeah, Sputnik is a, is a new project we brought up on the last Chaos Communication Congress just recently. It's always between Christmas and New Year's Eve in Berlin every year and this is a hardware and software project we launched it's sort of do-it-yourself surveillance and it's both meant to have a fun tool to work with to do tracking at events which can be a useful thing but it's also to learn about surveillance in general so we have been putting out everything uh, in the open the hardware design is Creative Commons licensed the software is of course GPL licensed so you can just take it, build it yourself and do compatible th uh, systems with it so well, people can take the data and, and do, do their own data mining. It's all about educating people what the actual impact of surveillance is, but also to have fun at our events and other areas. So let's, let's say that um, uh, we make a party, right? Like uh, the party last night, uh, or uh, let's just say that. What kind of uh, cool thing could you be doing with the, with the Sputnik then? Well, once you're tracked, you can do all kinds of analysis on the, on the data. It's basically the who talks to who and who is hanging around with who. Who, yeah. is, who is that girl I was dancing with? Uh, yeah. So you, what you can see is relationships. There are also other uh, funny things you can think of. If you have a beeper on this, which the first version doesn't have, but further versions probably have, uh, you can get some kind of feedback like, Oh, your pizza has come, so please proceed to the exit to take it. Just a very simple example. And I think in August, when we're doing our big open-air chaos communication camp, which is going to be a four- or five-day event in August, 8th to 12th of August, we're going to see this in use a second time, and hopefully we're going to have some very interesting applications for this. Okay, so that's this coming August, and that's in Berlin? 
It's, it's close to Berlin, so it's an open air event. People can bring their tents, and uh, we're going to build a huge city of, of nerds and geeks and other uh, happy people. It's a greater focus on projects, so you will see people bringing their stuff, showing their technology, projects they're working on, and in the end, it's a huge community event, so it's about bringing people together. There's going to be an international outreach, and I'm pretty confident we're going to have around 2,000 people on site. One last question. What do you think of uh, the DLD uh, so far as a conference? I think it's a, it's a well-designed conference because they sort of made it that it's not just about commercial stuff. It's not only about vlogging or blogging, but you have... All these things are pretty active along with each other and there's no single dominant scene in here. And I think that's why it works so well. So it's all about networking and people actually talk. It's very open. Everybody listens to everybody else and that's, that's a good thing. That's what we always want to see at our events and it's good to see that this is moving into the scene as well. Okay, great. And you also have a podcast. Just do a quick uh, plug of the podcast. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. It's, it's Chaos Radio. It's actually a, a, a radio show we are running for more than 10 years now, 11 I think. And so on the chaosradio.ccc.de website there's a broad range of channels. So there's a regular podcast, there's also a Chaos TV, which is like all weird stuff. And we're about to launch a new video podcast as well. Very cool. I'm looking forward to that. And let me know if you need any help uh, on that, all right? Okay. Hey, Tim, thanks a lot, man. Yes. Cheers. So Gabe Mack and Tim Pritlove from the DLD talking about the Chaos Computer Clubs and, yeah, RFID. And the world. <laughs> and the world. Cheers. Cheers.